Right. Thank you for being here with me. Let's do it. Time to step back and let you make your own decisions in life. Make my own decisions in life? Franz is right. Surely, you're not a child anymore. You have your own aspirations. I... I want to become someone like you. I want to help the shelter. You're looking at a tough road ahead. I'm not scared. I know what I'll be dealing with. There's so many things you don't know yet. The world doesn't stop even when life kicks you down to the ground. Then I'll... I'll get right back up again. What was that? Look out! What happened? That's... Dirty Ravager! Oh, it's the only fight begging. Did the shelter's alarm system fail?
Shirley all right? She's out of danger, for now. But it still doesn't look good. <sighs> this is all my fault. Can she be treated? The shelter's only equipped with basic medical equipment. We've done all we can. Celine is trying to contact some friends in Banjis to see if any of them can help. I'm going to talk to Franz. He's got some connections. Maybe he'll have some ideas. Uh, Please like take care cool. of Shirley while I'm gone. I'll be back as soon as I can. you guys Zeke he's gone to see Franz right well how is it give it to me straight doc I'm so sorry I made everyone so worried I sorry I'm feeling a little hungry could you get me something <laughs> anything really thanks Je pas ton assiette, celle. Il est reposé. d'arbre non par contre Oh. 
Je cherche les d'herbe, le for you. Non, pas de Je cherche les d'herbe, on est grimp. here I I just wanted to see the stars I'm sorry I just I just want to be alone just for a little while when we were little Zeke used to take me out here to gaze at the stars I like it here it's so quiet and peaceful like all the bad things in the world just didn't exist I wish things could be like back then. Forever. I... I didn't want to make Zeke sad. Shirley, are you okay? I... what am I gonna do? Shirley! Shirley! Ouais. 
Então. I'm sorry, Zeke. This was all my fault. It's not your fault. Her condition's worse than we thought. I should have been watchful. We did a full checkup on her. Her conditions are not stable and may take a turn for the worst at any time. Celine's friends are coming to help, but they won't be here at least until tomorrow. We don't have that kind of time. <sighs> I need your help again. There's, there's an abandoned lab near the northern coast of Astra. Just send the word there. Also, please don't mention this to anyone else in the shelter. I'm sorry. I can't tell you the identity of that person. You're the only one in the shelter who can help me. Ah, ça, je vais là-haut, là. Attends. Attends une minute.
quel violon Bravo Ah, c'est bien dedans.
place looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. I wonder if anything still works. Chambers? The coordinates look like they're near the shelter. You should at least wait until someone's home before you visit. I to deliver a message and didn't mean to look through your things. Why are you here, stranger? Zeke's sister was seriously wounded, so he asked me to look for help here. On est tous là-dedans.
that is so not a good push Putain de gouré. journey what a new command uh... what a new command Et merde, elle est toujours pour être touche, je comprends.
Everyone calm down. You made the rules. I'll figure out a way. <coughs> Shirley's not a monster. I'll make her better. Pas compris qui s'est passé là. Par contre, des résumés par contre, les gars, j'ai pas compris. It shouldn't be like this. What happened? Why is everyone saying those things? That's the way things are around there. If one of us changed, the closest to them will have to put them down. At the very least, they can go with some dignity. None of us wanted to see this happen to Shirley. But Zeke, he... Paul and I will stay here to keep everyone calm. As for Zeke... I'll go check on them. Zeke, she's suffered enough. She's not dead yet. Can't you see the reality of things? 
She's already. Don't jump to conclusions so easily, Franz. She will be given a new life. <laughs> a new life? As what, a clone? Droid? Or maybe something like you? Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? It is time. Let us go. Zeke, I pray you know what you're doing. I'm gonna bring her home. Récupérer le coffre de Nina. You saw all of that, huh? Who is that with Zeke? Just an old acquaintance. Nothing more. She said there's still hope for Shirley. Is that true? <sighs> From what I know, aberration is irreversible. The only thing we can do for the afflicted is to send them on their way. As humans. But Shirley... I don't know how they're planning to save her. But even if they did... Would Shirley still be the same Shirley that we knew? You look like you have something to say. Yeah. And here I thought you were going to keep it a secret. You knew? I should have known that's what Zeke would do. So what did they tell you? I didn't exactly get to meet them. I only requested their help via a communication device, and they said that they would. I also found something that looks like an experiment log. It mentions something called the Chrono Chamber. The Chrono Chamber? Ah, you sly fox. How could I have missed it? Who's Zeke looking for? The leader of the heirs of Ida. Goes by the codename Sage. Even within their organization, he's shrouded in mystery. If he really was on Astra, everything that's happened so far would be the least of our troubles. <sighs> Let's head back to the shelter. We have to tell them about what's happened. Wait! Mr. Franz, there's something I need your help with. What do you want? It's about my identity. I... might be someone from Hykros. What? So... uh... you lost your memories, right? Well, but the scrapper on the Omnium Tower said I have access to Hykros' weapons. And Shirley said you might be able to help me find out who I am. Other than you and Shirley, who else knows about this? That's all. Shirley... she... I don't think she managed to tell anyone else in time. <sighs> hmm. All right, I think I get the picture. I'll take you to Hykros, and they should be able to establish your identity if you really are one of them. Don't mention this to anyone in the shelter for now, though. It's a delicate time, so don't go looking for more trouble. Okay. Understood. What?
What? Zeke took Shirley and left with someone. Why didn't you stop him? Stop him? You know him better than I do. Hm. So who exactly was it? The heirs of Ida. They claim that they can save Shirley. For Zeke, the choice was clear as day. Heirs of Ida? The crazies that tried to overthrow Hykros? How did they get involved in this? Because Zeke and Shirley's parents were once members of the heirs of Ida. What? Why hasn't Zeke mentioned this before? What happened to his parents was a meaningless tragedy. They were merely victims of the conflict between Hykros and the heirs of Ida. Surely Zeke wants nothing else now but a calm and peaceful life, right? But now, Shirley's become the heirs of Ida's greatest bargaining chip. They want Zeke, and Zeke would do anything to save his sister. Could the heirs of Ida be behind the Ravager's attack? I can't say for sure, but I know that they're willing to do anything it takes to achieve their goal. We must get Zeke back. We can't let him be a pawn of those lunatics. Leave it to me. I'll find Zeke. The heirs of Ida are not to be taken lightly. You don't have to do this. They saved my life. I'm only returning the favor. Palu, the shelter just went through a rough time. Right now, it's of utmost importance to rebuild it and restore order. Just leave the matter of Zeke to us. I'm planning to take the kid to Hykros and inform them of everything that happened here. Maybe they can help. Thank you, Mr. Franz. Don't even mention it. I've arranged for some transportation for you. It's parked outside. When you're all set, we'll head for the Omnium Tower. Debuke Fatun, okay. your conversation. Will you really be able to bring Shirley and Zeke back? Mia can sense the internal emotional circuits surging. <laughs> Shirley and Zeke are important companions. Alas, I am a malfunctioning smart servant, but if I may be of assistance in any way, please take me with you. Alright, let's go and come home together, all four of us. Ok.
Crazy. Let's go up and check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Micros will only start channeling energy into this tower in winter, when the shelter's energy supply runs low. But today... Something wrong? Don't worry. It may be just a glitch, or a dispatch error. Or someone touching the wrong button. We'll still have to go and talk with those old guys up there if we want to straighten things out. Mm, cool. I'm gonna open up a space rift that leads right to the upper level of the Tower of Fantasy. But only for a brief moment. Unauthorized visitor detected. Halt or you will be stopped by force. I come from Astra. And, and I'm here with Franz. Astra Shelter. Area code HT501. for the first time and engaging information exchange with other smart servants. Welcome, young one. I'm Klima, commander of the District 9 Executors. Captain Klima, the Omnium Tower. Did something go wrong with it? The heirs of Ida tampered with the energy transmission program. It's causing the five Omnium Towers to send their stored energy back to the Central Tower. The central tower has a finite storage capacity. Exceeding it could dangerously overload the system. This false This looks to be a rather serious problem. Do we have any quick fixes? As a safety precaution, we had to vent excess Omnium to the surface at the cost of causing a certain degree of radiation damage. This is not a permanent solution. <laughs> Just leave these troubles to Archon Elric. Let's focus on you, kid. Before coming up here, I already told them about your circumstances. Franz submitted a report detailing that you triggered momentary space-time distortions during combat. Is that true? Yes. Time would sometimes flow extremely slowly around me. We call this phenomenon Fantasia. It's a human-generated temporal distortion in a localized area. It's usually an ability only exhibited by executors. The Executor Order is an elite unit formed to handle all forms of Omnium disasters. Its members are genetically augmented to possess a certain degree of control over the time dimension. I found info related to you in the Executor Order's database dated half a year back. You and your squad went MIA during an operation. I... I was an Executor? Indeed. However, 
We still don't know what happened to you during the last six months. Archon Elric said that you are not a part of District 9, so they don't have the authority to access your information. Perhaps you're... from another district? Another... district? Hmm. But Archon Elric did say that you'll be under District 9's jurisdiction for the time being. Because we're kind of under an emergency. We're currently facing many difficulties. The heirs of Ida are planning something. And the issues with the Omnium Towers need to be resolved urgently. High Kros has limited manpower in District 9 currently. We need your help in dealing with the heirs of Ida. I have reported your situation to Archon Elric in District 9. You should go see him.
Et on a quitté comment là dedans Allez, bonne appétit à tous. Euh, là, je suis en train de s'équiper pour aujourd'hui. Euh...
Yeah. <laughs> 